G'day, welcome to Start Your Own Battle. Michael Guest, Wayne Gordon, and a rock wall. It's all about rock walls really today, isn't it? It is, mate, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going, to, we're going to cast some live bait. So we've been out, we've collected some live bait, we've got some live mullet, we've managed to jig up some, some live yellowtail as well. There might have been a herring in the bucket there somewhere. And we're going to target the mighty mulloway, those big silver, well, they call them ghosts of the dark, but you can catch them uh, in those peak bite times during the day as well. They can be a tricky customer, but we'll show you a few tricks to make it a bit easier. There's a variety of different rigs that you can use when you're live baiting. The one that we've chosen today is one that I really like. So um, just starting from the top, this is a 10 to 25 kilo rod, three piece, big long rods, uh, which give you some leverage out off the rock wall and also helps you keep away from the snags and lots of power obviously to fight the fish. Certainly if you get that real big fish on, it's gonna come in real handy. Some 30 pound, six, well 30 pound mono on a six and a half thousand size spin reel. We'll have a look how that works in a minute. And then how the rig works is I've got this small section of um, monofilament line here and it can be just a, a piece of your, your line that you've got there or you can have a little spare spool yep. with a loop on it and I can change, I can just change this sinker by undoing this loop whenever I want to suit the amount of flow that's there. And that's really important because when you're fishing these estuary mouths like this one here, this is a traditional river system that runs out, you get a lot of current flow and then it'll back off. You get those peak bite times, yeah, those do. tide yep. changes, yep. and you can change that. So that little swivel, it just runs up and down my main line like that, and then comes down to another swivel Stop. there. Yep. And then a length of 40 pound. 40 pound. Some 40 pound fluorocarbon. fluorocarbon. Yep. yep. Just and then, with a single hook. And that one's just a single 5.0, um, it's an owner cutting point 5.0, which we're going to put a small live mullet on that one to start with. And then on the bigger baits, so show us what you've got on right. yours. So you've got a, a snooted rig. Yep. So we've got some live mullet and live yellowtail. Very uh, similar to yours, except two hooks. Two hooks at the end. So that's so that you've got one hook there, another hook there. So we can put one hook behind the head of the live yellowtail or bigger live mullet, yep. and then one down near the tail. It just gives you a little bit more chance with those bigger baits to make sure you get that hook up. So that's how it all works. And then when it comes to the, to the reel here, the rod and reel, these are just ideal because they have this secondary drag system. So there's four drag systems there. So that's our fighting drag. Geez, you've got that. You've got that. You got that on the go You do there. have to lock them up a little bit around the rock walls. <laughs> <laughs> I've, caught, I've actually caught a monster mulloway here not far from here years ago. It's a great spot. And then what we'll do is cast them out, set those baits out, and then just click that on that first click there, yep. Gordo. So first click. And then when that fish grabs that bait, it can just tear off. Hit that handle, wind that handle, into Click. fighting drag, away you go. So it just lets that fish, especially Mulloway, grab that bait, come and grab it, turn, start to run, pick it up, click it into gear, and then use the power of the rod to set the hook. So there's our little live mullet. There's my single 5-0 for the mullet. Gordo's going to go with the yellow tail. Just pin him just behind the head, and look at that. Swimming along is going to love that. And we mentioned before, bycats like mangrove jacks, it depends on which part of the world you're in. Certainly big brim, tailor, flathead are another one. But uh, we're going to be here for a while yet trying to find one of those silver fellas. So he's ready to go. Whoa. Yes! There's a run. Oh! Hey Gordo, a bit of a bite there, Gordo's yeah, down the other end. Oh, I'm on my way. Couple of head shakes. And this could be a mile away for me, hopefully. And what I'm gonna do, use the length of that rod, it's a big long rod. Double hook up, Gordo. I'm trying to lever that fish up and keep it away from the rocks. So I'm on my fighting drag there now. Oh, big head shake. And Gordo's getting trained down the wall down that way. So my net's behind me. I've got colour on that fish. It's a beautiful mulloway. Oh, that's what I came for. All right, I'm going to have to do this myself. Oh, no, I'm just going to sneak down. It's got to be really careful. This is the danger part. Pretty safe down here amongst the rocks. Oh, it's a big splash. Gordo's coming now. Come on, mate. Grab that net. Careful, careful, careful. Let's sneak him across to you. I'll just come back behind you, bud, just to give you that net shot. Coming with the current, head first in the net is what we want. Whoop. Head first in the net is what we want. Head first in. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Keep him in the water there. Oh. Woo. Good job, mate. Hey. Well done. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Keep that fish in the water. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> and that's why you go Mulloway fishing. 
Yeah. That is sensational. We had another Mate. run. I had him nearly to the bank too, Paul the Hawk. And Similar size fish. Exactly the same, yeah. So they travel in schools, Mulloway, and uh, hear me puffing, hear me excited. And, and I had and to run all the way down the wall. And this is how it is. You got that smaller fish yep. earlier, yep. and now we've landed that beautiful big Mulloway, and that is an absolute cracking big fish. And you can see how, how tough the battle can be. So you've got to make sure everything's right. We've got that 30 pound, uh, 30 pound Pen Super X. I love this mono. It's so abrasion resistant. Got the big rod to do the job, the Prevail 2, six and a half thousand size, live line of reel. The live liner was just smoking off. And of course, a couple of 70 chemically sharpened owner hooks. Oh, well, a little bit of nouse, good, good job. working the well tides, done. Well done. and away you go. And it can be that simple at times. Look at that for a beautiful daytime mulloway off the rock wall. You can see that 70 hooks just pinned in the corner of the jaw. Have a look at those gripping teeth. We did miss a bite at one stage early. You got that, uh, you got that smaller one to start with. We knew they were here, and that's a fish. That'll be over a metre, that fish. Any Jew fish in the daytime is oh. a good Jew fish. Or Mulloway for Mulloway. the correct Let's yes, go to correct Mulloway, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they grow to an immense size, up to 50 kilos, but anything around this size, just a beautiful fish. Well, it's called start your own battle for a reason, and, and I've started something there. Hopefully I've started something in you. Get yourself some, uh, some of that pen gear I'm using, the Prevails, the spin fishes, all that, uh, all that tackle, and give this a crack. Uh, Mulloway off the rock wall, super rewarding. All right, let this bloke go. Off you go, buddy. Come on. We'll pinch on the tail. Go on. Away you go. There he goes. <laughs> Cruising back down. 